morning hi and welcome back to finders briefless history seekers i've literally just woken up that's where i've slept the night and the thing is i just parked here because it was the first place i came to but then i've noticed this and i thought what is going on how have i managed i like i landed it i didn't land i'm not in a plane i parked here at four o'clock this morning didn't really pay much attention just went straight to sleep but now i'm really really like i can't work out what's going on so we're gonna go in and we're gonna have a look what's in there right i couldn't get over those gates but i'm walking up this road and this house this house here they're making breakfast and it smells so good it's like 10 o'clock in the morning i've properly over overlaid it was supposed to be like eight nine o'clock i got up and it's 20 past 10 but i didn't go to sleep until four after going to do three different explorers and couldn't get in any of them it's been a bit of a nightmare to be fair however i've just fallen across this so it's definitely worth having a look and there's another place to explore a bit further up here but the problem is, and you're not going to want to know this, I need a bow. Really bad. <laughs> so I'm hoping the, whatever's in here has got a toilet. So anyway, this wall is too big. I can't get over it. Well, I probably could, but I don't want to risk it. Because if then I can't get back out, I need to find an easy way in and out, really. So I'll try and I'll see you when I find it. Right, so I've got myself up on a wall. I thought this was part of the same thing, and I think it is. There's an house here that looks freshly built. So I have to get down off here now. Although I hope I can get back over once I've done this. Because that is always a worry, I'm not going to lie. Oh, I've got no choice now, have I? <laughs> I literally had no choice once I dropped that, did I? <laughs> now this up here isn't abandoned. I just don't think it's ever been finished. So, God. So, we're going to go past that and on to the next bit up because that's the bit I want to have a look at. This bit that I'm on here is just a brand new house. But I'm really interested what's up here that seems really weird. Something seems off about it. So we'll go and have a quick look. My hands are freezing now I've climbed over that wall. They've got wet and then it's sort of hurting at the ends of my fingers. It's that cold. But anyway, it's Sunday morning and it's quarter to 11. So I've got to be on the video in a minute as well. So I just wanted to get over here first, get myself in a position where at least I'm in the right place and then I could come on with you guys and then do a bit of exploring Ooh. oh it does look interesting over here oh god this is not good I wanted it to be nice and enjoyable and oh, now look at the state of my legs they just cut to shreds again as usual but yeah I thought it was going to be really nice lovely Sunday morning walk to get into this place and it's just squelching and horrible now we end up <laughs> going a bit more at this rate look at big fat puddles everywhere definitely gonna slip right what I've, what i've found is really weird it's like really strange and i don't mean this although this is pretty weird as well because it's all like big massive black stones look like they've been dug out but what's in front of me is just very odd let's go and have a look what is going on here this is just all a bit freaky it's like village of the damned there's not just one or two either in fact jesus christ let me show you let me show you the side of this house. Right, I honest, honestly don't think sides of buildings are supposed to stick out like that. 
it's just horrendous. Look at it inside as well. But these are brand new built buildings. Look at them all. You could just hear water dripping inside and out of them. But there's not just one or two. It literally is like a whole village full. And it's all this weird black stone everywhere as well. I don't get it. I wonder what this was for. It's like they were building a whole new town. It's not an estate either. It, it's too higgledy-piggledy. It doesn't make sense. It's not normal. Anyway, I'll keep looking around. I'm tempted to go inside, but I don't think there's going to be much to see. Look. Also, I've got to be careful. Oh. Yeah, look. Got a bit of a fireplace there. But they're very shoddily, shittily built. They're wooden. I'm guessing it's not all wood, but they're not very well built, are they? Stairs here, look. Oh, should I go up? I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna. Oh, these, these are not safe. They're not even really attached, look. The bottom bit of the stairs aren't even attached to this top bit. I know it's nothing exciting, because it's not even finished but I just wanted to at least come in one of them just to see what it's like little balcony there look this is mad absolute madness I'm not standing on the balcony I don't trust it They go right up there. Like even past this one, there's another one behind it. The ones down this end look a lot worse state as well than the ones that are up that end. So we'll probably head up that direction and try and work out what the hell's going on. <laughs> didn't ever get finished the roofs weren't put on or anything these ones seem to have started to have them put on but then as we get further this way they're definitely more complete they've got the front bits on them it's just all it really odd isn't it like they're still doing the pipe work for half of them i wonder what happened here i wonder what i wonder if it was like covid or something like that that stopped it happening just really really it's not spooky, it's just a bit freaky. It feels a bit uncomfortable. You know, when you watch these films where they die, everybody dies, it's like a nuclear explosion or something like that. And then there's housing estates that are left. This is what it feels like. It's really strange, a really odd feeling. Like there's going to be some sort of walker coming in. <laughs> Coming to get him made, you know what I mean? It's, it's all a bit weird. Or oh, there's going to be somebody in one of the houses with a crossbow ready, ready to take me out. It's just a, a, just a bit weird. Right, so I'm currently watching Sunday's video with you <laughs> live whilst just stood here. And I've just written, I'm, um, I'm watching this from a zombie apocalypse and they're all, everyone in chat's like, what are you talking about, Matt? What are you even on about? And this is what it is. So now when you watch this back, you know exactly, exactly what I was doing. Now, the thing that I don't understand about, even more than the houses and why they've been left, is all these big, massive piles of this black stone. Just look at it in front of me. Wait a minute. It's everywhere. And 
why did they start building the houses before clearing all this? You'd think they would have done that first. Got the land all ready and sorted and then build them, but they just fall into pieces. You just think, if these are brand new builds, like, why would your roof fall to pieces like that? They're obviously really badly made houses. And I know most of them have got, like, no doors and things like that. And obviously someone's come and smashed all this up. But, and that's why a lot of things fall to pieces, because they're damp. But if you look at the centre of that roof there, it's just collapsing in. Which for me means it was never put together right in the first place. But this is, this is just mad. This is mad. There's so many of these houses. Right, so I've come behind the houses. Look, you can see it extends all the way down there. Like I said, getting from worst, getting better and better and better as we further, go further and further up. But then we come to this weird big drive, which I'm guessing takes me back round to where the car's parked, up to those big gates. But look at this, look behind here. It's like they've been quarrying out that black stone and it goes on for miles up there. I don't know, oh, there's a big, there's a digger just there. See if I can zoom in on it for you. Look, they've definitely been doing something to turn this bit into something else as well. And I, I, I don't really know what that would be. I have to try and find out. Oh, for, oh, it carries on going up here as well. This is weird. This is really weird. Now, it's freaking me out a little bit. Not like in, not in a ghostly way or anything like that. Not in a zombie way, but in a, am I going to get caught and get my head kicked in kind of way? Because, two reasons. One, there's loads of crows making ridiculous noises, but they all just flew up in one go, which makes me think there's somebody here. But also, look, they are fresh tyre tracks that go up here along this road. So does that mean there's somebody been up here this morning? And if they have, where are they now? Because I see no vehicles knocking about. I think my car is just over there at the other side of this wall. I think, but I'm not sure. I'm sort of lost where I am a little bit. Anyway see what I can find round here, see if there's anything that indicates what this place is for. Right, so we're miles up now. It's like almost half a mile from one end to this end. And we're up this drive bit. There's a big wall over there as well. I'm gonna have to check all of this out separately, but it's just taking us on and on and on. And some of these places now don't look so much like houses anymore. Well, they are houses, but I mean like where you'd live. They look more like, I don't know, like they'd be a reception area or something like that. It's, it's just a bit weird. A bit strange. I know I keep saying it's weird. It's just, it is weird. It doesn't feel right. Look, big buildings over there as well, like barns. Right, like I was saying, there is a few little buildings knocking about that definitely aren't anything to do with the houses, like, as normal. Oh, this, oh, look. Cairns Development. So that's obviously who it was. Now, I might have to do a bit of research and see what happened to them and what happened to this place. I just wonder if it's... Now this is like their site office look. It's just, just empty, but I just wonder if, ow, that hurt. I wonder if it was COVID or something, started to build like a housing estate. It just doesn't feel like a housing, feels different, feels weird. It feels like these were here for a reason other than just people living here. And I can't put my finger on what. I don't know what it could be, but, the gates are over there. I've just seen the gates over there. So we're going to head back up that way. See if I can get out. Because I got in <clears throat> about eight miles down that way. So if I can get out this way, I will. But I need to do some research. And I need to find out what this place was. Right, look. This is where my car is. Now, I've got to be careful. 
because there's cars coming past. I don't want to get myself in trouble. And I still have a feeling there's somebody in here with me because of those tire tracks and because of those birds flying up. Now it's a lot easier to climb over it from this side. So hopefully I should be able to get back. I just wanted to check those barns that are over there and see what that is. And maybe even go down to that digger quickly, just to go and have a look what's going off down there. I know it's not normal, the normal sort of place that I come to, but it's just odd, isn't it? Like, why is it here? And that, I hate it when I don't know stuff. So I'm gonna go and try and find out something at least. Right, look at this. These are very, very, very fresh tracks. Now that goes down to where that digger was. So are they still digging stuff out? I'm a bit worried, not gonna lie. I'm a bit worried that I'm gonna get got and I don't wanna get got. I'm still gonna go and have a look at that digger. At the end of the day, I like risking stuff. Let's look in these barns first. Well, the barns were exactly what I expected. Absolutely nothing in them apart from a set of windows, which is weird. So we'll head down to the digger. Oh, there's some big tractor tires or something there as well. Right, we're down to the digger and I expected it to be like a smashed up, unused or unusable digger that's been here for ages. But if you look at the floor, it's all ridged. This has been put here in the last couple of days. And just, they're still doing whatever work it is they're doing. So what plans they've got now for this site, I don't know. The houses are all off over there and this bit's still being dug out. It's just so strange, I just don't get it. And the thing is, if you're gonna Put something brand new here like this. Would you hide the keys in there? Because I don't think I would. But saying that, I wouldn't leave the door unlocked either. It's literally open. Although I don't know how you're supposed to get in this without falling off. God. That's awkward, isn't it? Yeah, look. This is brand new. I'm gonna get myself in trouble in here, I know. I know I am. I know I am. Look. I can hear a vehicle slowing down. Yeah, look at that. This is, this is state of the art, brand new stuff. I'm not going to lie, I am so tempted to start this up. I just don't think it's a very good idea because it's very quiet around here. And I'm sure whoever owns this will soon find out what I'm doing. So I'm just going to sit and chill out and watch this Sunday's video. I'm going to put the volume back on, have a chill and have a chat with you guys. Right, so the video's finished. I've just finished watching Sunday's video. I am so tempted, I'm not going to lie. I don't know I'm so tempted to turn this and then press. Oh. Well, the lights have come on. Oh, so tempting. Look. Thing is, I'm going to get heard. I also don't want to. Oh God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm turning it back off. Oh, thank God for that, I need a passcode on it. Right, I'm shifting because it might be linked up to someone's phone or something and tell them it's been started up and I don't want to get in shit for that. So I am getting out of here. But yeah, it's been a nice place to sit while I watch this week's video, but I'm gonna head out of here. Right, there's a car. There's a car that's just come in. Up that gate. Oh <laughs> God, I'm going to get in so much shit. They're right up at the other end. And I heard the gate go. 
and then the car's just come round and he's got back out to go, I'm guessing, to shut the gate again to lock me in so I can't escape. However, luckily, I've seen him first and I don't tend to stick to paths. So, so we're going this way. Oh, need to get out of here. The thing is, it's a little tiny road that this is on and there's my car parked there. That's weird. Uh, my car parked there. So there's gonna be nobody else who it could be. So they're gonna go straight to my car if they can't find me in here. So I need to be quiet now and get out of here. This is, this is awkward. It's all like loose stones and shingle and stuff. Oh God. This is not good. At least I'm not going down the main paths because that's where he definitely would find me. I'm just gonna get up to that bit up there. It looks like it's easy to walk up, but it, it certainly is not. Oh, oh. <sighs> bloody hell. Right, so he's head down to the diggers. Oh, digger, sorry. And I've managed to get up into the houses now. If he does head back up this way, there's no way he's going to find me. Because I am the king hiding out, especially in post-apocalyptic world. There'd be, be no problem at all hiding from him. However, I don't really want to hide. I just want to get out of here, get over that wall, get to the car and go before he realises. Because like I said, if he gets to that, oh bloody hell, Ooh. if he gets there to the car before I do, he could block me in and then I'm stuck. I'm stuck and he's, ugh, I can't get out then, can I? So let's just be quick. Right, back at the wall. Just need to get on this, get up there and jump off the other side. Wish I could film myself doing it and show you, but it's not particularly easy. I'll stick you up there. Another car coming. Oh God, sorted. Just hope this has nothing to do with it. This car that's just coming now. Now she had a good look at me. Hey up, what's this sign? <laughs> no, how have I not noticed it? Well, that explains a lot, doesn't it? World-class championship golf course, four-star hotel, complete with spa and leisure complex. And look, there are all the different places in there. Oh my God. Anyway, need to get in this car and get out of here before he comes back. Right, I'm away and safe. I'm just gonna go now. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Right, so I've just done that weird abandoned golf course place. This is another entrance to it. This was definitely something else before. So I've just had a look on the maps and it's showing that there's a big, huge house across here somewhere. Now, I don't know if that's abandoned or not, so I'm just gonna go and check and find out. If it is, we might have got an extra explorer out of this, this location, which is brilliant. So, we'll keep going and keep looking. Right, so there's a lodge there, which is another lodge to get into this big hall. There's a car there, and it says trespassers will be prosecuted. So, not that that bothers me, but it does make me think that there's a hole there and potentially that's security, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm just gonna go around the roundabout and park up in front of the gates quickly to try and work out what it's saying on there. This is a little sign. an audio to a log. That's good, isn't it? So, 
yeah, maybe it's not abandoned, the big hall, but we'll try and work it out. Now look, there's more abandoned buildings there, new ones again. Same as before, there's loads of them. Loads and loads. I've got to be careful because obviously there's cars about, but all in the same style as those over there. They really did have big plans for this place. But it's all gone a bit a bit wrong, hasn't it? Yeah, look. The old gates there. And even on the other side of the road. This looks like it was part of the estate as well. There's a big, what looks like a maybe walled garden or something over there. It's all very confusing. I wonder if that hall is still... There's a car trying to get past me. I wonder if that hall is used or not. Right, so you thought the video ended there, but it didn't. Look where I am now. So, oh God, I'm out of breath. I've literally driven away and then realized something. It's not the only bit. There's loads more, but there's also something else worth looking at that potentially is even bigger and better than any of these houses. But look at this. So, Obviously now we know this is part of like the golfing complex and it would have been used for people to come and stay. This would have maybe been the hotel bit with the big entrance down there. This, however, is an older building and I don't know what it was originally, but I do know what it belonged to. And that is what we're gonna go look for which is over there somewhere. So I need to try and work it out. I don't know what this building would have been for though, but we need to get out of this bit because I've just seen like a coach house up that way. I'll put a clip in for it because I was gonna use it for the behind the scenes video. But now, now I've worked all this out, I can use it for this, but I've gotta be careful that I don't get caught. So heading away from these places, we're off in this direction. Now, I don't know what's around this corner, but it looks a bit weird. But I can also see fresh tire tracks once again up here, which is worrying, especially as we've just had almost potentially a bit of a run in with that guy. But I think he was only bothered about the, the building equipment so hopefully they're focusing over there now not over here yes yeah, those things i could see a bit weird anyway let's carry going that way now just up there is a massive ridiculously long building that looks really really weird now i have just found some information online and a, some drone footage i'm gonna find out if the guy that's done the drone footage will let me use his stuff so i can find so I can show you. And I've also realised that back the way, the opposite direction from what I walked is what looks like a massive coach house and like stables and things like that. But I need to get to the main bit first and it's looking like it's down through this gate here. So there's one path that runs that way. That's the gate into where we're going. And I don't know where that one goes. But we're just gonna we're gonna go this way, I think. I think that takes us to the stables, or what I think is stables from above. Because that's it, I'm just looking at stuff from above and trying to work out what it is. So Oh, they're over there. I think they're over there through the trees, but I want to get to the main house first. So like I said, the stables are over there. I've just noticed this though. I don't know what this is. It's all a bit odd. I think this is quite newly built, whatever this thing is here. But I don't understand what it is. And But down here, this looks older. Oh God, I almost fell then. 
like a pump house, I think. So I'm wondering if there's a pond somewhere or a lake. I bet it's probably behind here, which means don't walk across there, Matt, because you'll end up be swimming. And I don't want that. Right, so there's what I thought was the stables, but now looking at it, I'm not so sure it is. I don't know, it might be like workshops or something. But what's just come into view around this corner, you can't quite see it yet, but I can, is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, I've not been given any information about this place. Nothing at all. Nobody's told me anything about it. I've literally just fallen across it while looking at something else that I fell across last night. But this place oh, is unbelievable. I hope I can get in here. This is crazy good. Look at this. This is unbelievable. I thought that was good over there. And then to come round the corner to this is madness. Imagine living here. Imagine leaving it. I need to get in here. I definitely need to get in here. If I don't, I am definitely going to be gutted. I'm not going to lie. It definitely looks very well sealed. There are cameras up there, but they look like old cameras. They're one of those ones with the speaker system on to scare you off as well. However, every window on the lower floors Right, so that's the uh, the police on the way. That's fine. Not to worry. We'll keep looking. Now, it's a funny one, you see. Because of where I am, in a different country, I don't know how it works around here. I don't particularly want to get manhandled. However, I also can't pass up the chance of this. You've got to remember as well, you get a lot of these systems that are worked off like sensor cameras and that's it that's all it is it's just a good way of scaring you off so i'm going to try and stay as close to this building as i possibly can and avoid the cameras where i can i can't remember where they were now oh directly above me so they're up they're up there look so as long as it doesn't sense me and i stay as far away as I can and close to this edge of this building as I can I might get away with it if not is what it is I can always run I can always hide or I can just give myself up but either way it's gonna be fun trying it's like gothic design this look look at the windows there all the arched windows there and then like the Almost like church windows, those ones look. That's just such a beautiful place. Oh, there's another camera there, another speaker there. So I'm gonna keep going round the back. Try and keep out of camera shot by staying nice and close to the edge. And like I said, if they do turn up, I'm more than likely to hear them before they hear me. And there's a lot of hiding places. But it's a good job I'm not the sort of person that tries to break in these places though, because at the end of the day, you shouldn't do it anyway. But also if you were doing it and got caught like that, you're gonna prison. So stupid people do things like that. Right. So there's some more cameras, some more speakers. And like I said, they're not always necessarily cam actual cameras. They can just be like sensors. And when they pick you up, that's when it goes off. Now, I currently can't see any way in anyway. So it could just be a case of looking round the outside of this place and then heading on to the stable bits and see if there's anything in there. But these are the bits here where you're most likely to get in anyway. The dangerous bits, the bits that they cut off, but they can't really secure very well. But we'll try. Just wanted to give you a view of the back of the building as well. But I've got to be careful because the camera's pointing in this direction. But look at it. What an awful waste of a place, seriously. 
Now, I don't know what this bit is here. There's like a cage over the top of it. I don't know if it's like an orangery where they used to come and sit out or if it's, I don't know what, a greenhouse? But it seems a bit weird to make a greenhouse this grand. I don't know. I don't know if that camera just picked me up again because the alarm went off. Now that means one of two things. It's still picking me up or there's somebody else here. But I think it's it picked me up on that one a second ago when I was looking over here. God knows. Anyway, I'm gonna try down the dangerous side. Now the problem is down the dangerous side has got another camera and another speaker. And if there's anybody with an earshot of it, that is something to do with security. Even if it is that sort of just a sensor, they're gonna pick up on it. And with it being a Sunday morning, they're more likely to be at home as well. It's a bit worrying, but thing is, I haven't come all this way to Ireland to not check it out. And if I get caught, it is what it is. Now, the other good thing in these situations to do is find a bit of a bolt hole. Find a way to escape or hide if somebody turns up. Because if you're looking for them while they're looking for you, it's always good to find somewhere like this. It's lit. See that? That's worrying that that's going off. And I'm here because I'm not setting those sensors off anymore. So it's either just going off on like a five minute interval or something like that since the first time it was triggered or there's somebody else here. It's one of the two. I still don't think there's somebody else here though. So I'm just gonna give it a second study here and then I'll head back up to the main building. So this wall where the gate is leads to an older wall and it looks potentially like this was maybe the tradesman's entrance or something because it leads to the side of the house. Now that camera and speaker are up there. I don't think anyone's coming. Apart from lots of nettles on my legs. I just, I have a feeling nobody's coming. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. Look, it takes you straight to what looks like a door into the side of the building. But I don't think it's open. I think it's blocked up like the rest. So all the doors and windows down this side of the building have been blocked up. Oh, there's a couple of bikes here. Oh, now there is a door in that corner, but I doubt you want to get into it. And the camera is right there. It's worked off a solar panel. Oh, I don't know if that's a solar panel or a light. So, I'm just gonna go and try it. Somebody's knocked the lock off this door down here, I think, but I bet it's secure from the inside. So, we'll give it a go. Please open. No, it's absolutely rammed locked. What's in here? Not a great deal. You see what I think's happening here? is I think that's been set off once and then it's on a cycle of maybe 10 lots of alarms and then it'll stop until it gets triggered again. That's what I think it is. But this is their access. This is how, if anybody wants to get in this place, this is the way to do it. I mean the people that own the place and there'll be a big massive key for that, but it is, not shifting. In fact, it's welded shut. So this must have been the previous access. Such a shame, because I can actually see in. And it looks spooky. Let's see if I can get the torch in. Now, I didn't expect to find anything like this. And I know it's a bit of a weird main channel video, not actually getting in here either. But I just think it's one of those that it's a building that needs to be seen. Whether you see the inside or not, it's one of those buildings that needs to be seen. And apparently there was a hundred million pounds invested in this golf course. And that's what they've got out of it. A hundred million pounds to turn it into that bag of shite. So we will 
Let's have a quick peek inside. I see. I wonder if that's another locked door there. There's new floors in it by the looks of things as well. But let's try, try looking the other way. No, I can't really see that. I can't see what we're looking at at all there. And we'll try one more, one more direction. Right, so I just looked at that last bit of footage. It looks like there's a big white ghost around this corner. All I could see was the wall, but then as I moved it, there was like a weird ghosty person. Let's just, I'm just gonna try one more time. I just hope it focuses this time, because that was the problem. Right, get it further down. I'm very, very, very scared of dropping it midway through doing it. Now that alarm seems to have stopped going off, which is quite good. There's somebody inside. Pretty sure. I'm sure I just heard footsteps inside that building. So I don't know if security's here having a look round, trying to find me inside. Not thinking that I'm probably around the back of the house. I don't know whether to make a run for it because I know I can't get in. I know I can't get in. But I might go and hide somewhere and watch them come out. I don't know what to do. I definitely think that's what I'm going to have to do. But the problem is, as soon as I move, the alarm's gonna go off and they're gonna instantly know I'm outside. So, how do I do, how do I do this? Do I just go as fast as I can? Or do I be stealthy? Bit of both, come on. It's not like it's not set off or anything, so we might be all right. Oh God! And I might have been right about that alarm going off a minute ago, and it wasn't me that set it off. You would have thought they would have come up in a car, though. Can't see one. Right, I'm going back round the back because that's so open over there. I'm just going to be spotted straight away. Right, we're back round the back of the house. The camera's up there. I'm just going to walk round normally until it sets off and then I'll shift because I want to see this place properly and I want you to see it because all I did on the way round was sneak. I'm probably going to set it off again now, but it is what it is. You can't get out of that building that fast. I don't even know how he's got in because I can't see anywhere to get in. Everything's sealed. Yeah, it's pointing directly at me now, right up there. So I'm wondering if it's going to go off in a minute. It's weird that it isn't. Really weird that it isn't. Although it was delayed last time, wasn't it? When I set it off the first time, 
I was like, oh yeah, it's not going to go off. And then it did. So, I don't know. There's new tiles on parts of this roof as well. Oh God, I am on edge. I know I'm acting all tough, just wandering around, but I am, I am definitely on edge. Look at this place. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. I'm just going to get a quick photo of it. Right, we're back round the side of the house. Oh, there's another camera there, isn't there? Look at these big, this big gateway here. Now I am on, I'm zoomed right out, which is not my normal way of filming. However, this place is so big and so grand. I don't want to miss any out. I thought that was going to start playing again then. Yeah, I don't want to miss anything out and you're not able to see it properly. Surely. I'm sure that front door's boarded. It is. I wonder if it was pigeons inside I could hear. Look at that though. Is that not impressive? Maybe nobody's coming. Maybe I'm all good. I can wander around as much as I want. But I can't get in because it's sealed up tight. Look at that. Amazing. Now, I know it's a massive disappointment not getting in. Oh, wait up. There's a metal shutter door up here. So if he's going to have got in anywhere, that would be the way. I've got to have a look at that. I'm literally just going to walk straight to him in a minute. If he's there, if it's not just my imagination, and it's the bit of the building I could hear noises in, if I'm being honest as well. Although, would I have not heard... That big door, bang open. Fuck. Oh. He's not inside, and if he is, he's gone. Look. Padlock's under there. That's the way that they get in. Now, it's a shame I can't slip in underneath those steps because that goes down to the cellar by the looks of things. So, that's telling me nobody's coming. That's gone off about 25 million times and nobody's here. I know it's a Sunday. Coppers might be having a fry up or something. But I can't see it. A little side entrance, a little bell there. I am gutted though. I would have liked to have got in. But maybe we'll just head on down to those buildings next. Although before we go, it's only fair that we have a look in here. Look, it's spooky down there. Well, there's a door. That's all I can see. Won't focus properly anyway, but... Oh, I really want to get in there, like, really bad. Oh, look. Can't, can't see properly, because it won't focus very well. But, yeah. Gutted, 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 but it is what it is. Now, I've just had a massive thought, like, of course this makes sense. So, this is the same place as the golf course. So, the buildings that we've just come up from were ones that they'd made for the golf course. Where we were earlier, where I ran away, is from the golf course. This will have been the feature hotel. This will have been the place you came and stay, stayed if you weren't staying in one of the little houses. This would have cost a fortune to stay in and they would have had their restaurant in there and things like that. So that's why they've tried to save this. That's then gone tits up and this place has gone into disrepair as a result. What a shame, what a shame. Cannot someone come and save this because the potential's there. It probably was a really good idea, but I'm reckoning maybe COVID's just messed it up or something. Anyway, we'll head down to those other buildings. literally a stone's throw away from where we were behind all these trees are the other buildings we were looking at a minute ago which I, I think must be something to do I can't even get through here absolute bleeding nightmare <laughs> I, I, I thought this was the easy way to come 
clearly not the easy way to come. But I thought this was like the coach house or something like that, but I don't know now. With all these little windows down the side, I'm not so sure. Jesus Christ, Matt, why did you not pick a better way to get through than this? And once again, I don't know if we're going to be able to get in here. But it's definitely worth a look. That, that door there has been sealed. What can we see through the windows? Oh, there is graffiti in there. Now you'd think that... Oh God, I've got bits down my neck and everything. You'd think that vandalism was a bad thing, and it, it is. But you've also got to think that if somebody's got in there to vandalise, that means we can probably get in as well. Now looking down here... I don't, know if, I don't think there's enough room for me to get underneath that. If it was a little bit wider, I could have done, but it's not quite there. I don't think this, oh, there's an old arger or something in there. Yeah, this is locked. We'll have to see if there's a way around. Surely this massive, massive building, there's got to be some way to get through. Oh, this is impressive, look. Big archway, I, I'm definitely sure this is the stable box. And I think, we won't have a problem getting in at all. Now that's blocked up. However, that window isn't. That window isn't. And actually, actually, this is terrible. Ow. This is terrible uh, security. I'm pretty sure. Ah, but it's, it's nailed together. It's sealed together. I thought I could just walk straight through that. That would have been easier. Right, window time. Right. Hopefully, this will take me straight through. Oh, the tiles on that fireplace. I'm going in even if it doesn't take me through. Right, we're in. Oh, Jesus. That one further down than I expected. There we go. Bloody, bloody hell. So we're in and we get to at least have a look in here. I'm so pleased. I was disappointed for you that we didn't get to look in somewhere, but now we do. And first of all, my most favorite thing ever, as you know, is a good fireplace with amazing tiles on it. Look at the tiles on that. Definitely 1800. It's like I talk about them like the women. Look at the chips on there. Look at them tiles. Oh, I won't mind getting my tongue around them. Oh, yeah. What a beautiful fire that is. I love it. And if that's what was in the stable block, what the hell was in the main house? Right. Oh, this is where we were, look we were looking through this door a minute ago. I wonder if we can walk straight back out this door. No, I think that's nailed shut as well. Yeah, this is what we were looking at, the little Argo, Rayburn, whatever you want to call it. A little kitchen in here. I'm loving some of these tiles and wallpaper. Ooh. Oh no, no, no. I'm going away. Not flying to windows. No. Oh, I don't like that. I hate that when that happens, when birds fly into windows like that. It makes me really sad. And I don't want them to hurt themselves. Now, I don't know if I can get into this central area or not. Because I'm wondering if this door's sealed up as well, you know. Now there, oh God, there is stairs to go up, but I don't know whether I want to. Can I get in here? No, this is sealed. Oh no. Or is it because it, it's not that? Oh no. I don't know if I can get any further in. Right, that definitely means I can't get out into the courtyard this way. Unless this top level takes me somewhere, but look at the state of this. Don't know whether I trust these. Oh my god. It, what you can't see is the stairs aren't flat. They're sloped because of all the dirt that's on them. Look, it's not really steps. It's just a hill. So I'm basically walking up this, the scariest, most dangerous hill you've ever been on. I'm going to have to stop filming because I need to hold on to something. Right, we're upstairs. In a little self-contained unit, I think. Another beautiful fireplace there. How many people would love that in their house? Stripped back, 
repainted black in like that paint that you can get for fires because that's solid cast iron as well right let's have a look out of this window what can we see from here you are kidding me can you literally just walk in at the other side oh no oh there's buildings beyond it so i reckon you can't get through the far building but we'll keep trying we'll keep trying so not much up here just a bathroom and i think another bedroom with a fire oh look at this that's nice i've never seen them like painted like that before as well bright red that's nice that right let's see if we can we're gonna have to go back out that window now not that one i'm not going out of that one <laughs> i mean the one downstairs that's if i get down the stairs without being dead now if i was a brave boy which i'm currently not because there's nobody else here with me I'd potentially try climbing over this. Climbing up here and climbing over there to get in. It's all new roofs, look. Brand new roofs. But I'm not because I probably won't get back out the other side. Jesus. This is so sketchy. And this banister's wobbling as well. I think we're all right now. We're up, I think we're down. Oh, bloody hell. I think I'm about to do something silly. And I know how much you love it when I do silly things. But I think I'm gonna go through this window, which is not very big. And I'm gonna have to go at an angle. And I'm gonna actually have to go head first out of the window as well. Which, oh, I don't know if I even can. I don't know if it's a bit far for me even this. Because what I normally do is, because of my back, I don't go feet first. I go head first and put my hands on the floor and like lower myself down. But the problem is, it's quite a long drop. There's normally I've got something to put my hand on. So I don't even know if I can. I'll try it the other way. I'll try it the other way first. But I doubt I can do it that way because of how my back works and bends. Do you know what I realised would be a better idea? To come and try another window and see if that opens, and it, and it does. So I'm gonna go through there instead. I think that's probably gonna be easier. However, I am taking precautions. I don't mean I'm wearing a condom to do it. I mean, I've put this underneath. So this doesn't slip back down, then I can't get back out again or back through again. So hopefully that will save me. I don't know if you saw that, but I just, just fell off the windowsill like an absolute idiot. I bet that was not a pretty sight at all. 
Jesus. Right, I'm going to leave my bag there. And we'll go and have a look around. Look at it in here, though. How wonderful is this place? I would love it here. With proper... You could turn this into your house. Have your horses here. They could come and... Come out onto this centre section. Oh, it'd be so good. What an amazing place this could be. You could have a few families live here. You could have your whole family that lived here. So good. Right, so the first stable door was shut and locked. But this leads into the same bit. Oh, and it's grand. I, a lot of people won't even appreciate this, but I love this because of the connection to the horses. Look at it in here. So you've got where you tack and maybe your saddles would go up there. Then you've got these amazing arched stables. Now they don't, well, they, technically they're not, they stalls, I think. I think you would class them as a stall or a, is it a hobble? I'm not sure of that. I'm not very good at the, the terminology, but you've got, uh, don't get me wrong, it's not very good for water now. But you'd have your water in that side. Yeah, um, hay in that side. Maybe your straw down here if you had straw. And then, I don't know what this bit is. Um, oh, Leah tells me all the different terms for these things and I always forget. I can't remember, I need her here now with me to tell, what it is, tell me what it is. But... It's possibly where you went and took your horse to get them ready before they went out. But it's so good. I do like this. I'm going to have to take a photograph of this for them as well. Because it's so good. Right, I'm guessing a lot of these rooms around here are going to be very similar. Not that I can... How are, to... are you supposed to get that past that? How does that work? It's like it never would open, ever. That's weird. But anyway, we don't need to go in that one. We can look over the top. Oh, can you actually get in this one? Oh, pretty basic room now, I'm guessing. That's water. I'm guessing this might have been classed as the stable then. Although I look at this and think other animals, like pigs and stuff. So I don't really know. Now the rest of the doors, well these doors on this side have all got that same thing again where you can't get in, but it all looks the same sort of thing, which it's going to be at the end of the day. If it is for horses, it's going to be the same. I'm just wondering if there's horses in this side and then they'd have the coach in the other. But look, same with this. Oh, wait a minute, that one actually does open. Yeah, we can see inside. Yeah, very much the same as I expected. Fair few horses in here. So we're going, I'll check all the other ones out. I'm not just going to show you the same thing over and over again, because that's just going to get boring. But if there's anything special, I'll show you. Right, so I've come from that end, come to this little bit here, and there's ladders up. So I'm guessing this is the bit that goes above all the stables. However, I saw what the floors were like up there. So I'm not, I'm not attempting it at all. No way. But I might pinch those ladders to get, oh no, I won't because they're attached. I'm gonna say I might pinch them to get back out. I might just see if that door opens. I don't think it does though. No, it's screwed shut, which I'm sort of glad about in a way because I know I would only go in and then cause myself danger, which you guys don't want me to get in. Now, I'd not noticed these two big doors at the end, but I reckon maybe this is the, the coach house. This is where they would have kept the carts or coaches, depending on which. And when I say coaches, I don't mean the sort that you get on to go from your working man's club down to Clacton. I mean, oh my God, are you kidding me? So, you know, I said this gate's open and I bet the other one at the other end's locked. It's not. It's wide open. Look, it is wide open. So I'll pop back and get my bag. And all that bother was for absolutely nothing. So as I was saying, coaches were like 
horse-drawn coaches. And I'm only explaining, most people will know that, but some people won't. Some people don't know about things like that. So I just thought I'd explain it. So you don't think that they used to keep like number 26 to Birkenhead in here or something like that. Now I have just come in the other one at the other side and I'm confused. Well, I'm not, that's a big arger. But then there's this. This is very good, isn't it? Is it for tele... Is it a tele... Is it a lift? Oh, two persons. It's a lift, isn't it? I thought it was like a telephone box at first. Or is it? I, I don't... It's got a really good... I don't want to break it because I think it's like 1930s or something. 1920s, this. So I'm not going to force it. But it's like, it's got a little light. Oh, that'll be what that is for then. That's for the light. But it's, I think it's a lift. I really do. I thought it was for a phone at first. Telephone, but no, it's a lift shaft thing. Anyway, come on. Right, so I've just come through this entrance. I didn't realize there's two big broken windows there as well. Now this is the bit. I was looking through this window at the end. I don't know what this room would be for, but it's pretty cool, isn't it? They're all the little arches around the bottom. That's really, really good. And the ceilings as well are amazing in here. I don't know what this is for. I can't, it doesn't work, but I don't know what that would have been for or what this room would have been for at all, to be honest. I'm really not quite sure, but it's a good room. Regardless of what it was for, I'll show you zoomed out a bit, look. Look at that. How good is that? Right, I prove time and time again that I am stupid and that I don't look properly because there's a door open now. Although saying that, the door I've just come through um, was, something was wrapped round on the other side of it. So, I wouldn't have got through if I'd come this way anyway, but at least I can show you properly now. So that leads through to here, which I'm guessing is like the servants' quarters where the coachman would come and sit, waiting for the Lord and Master to tell them to come. And what we've got through here. Right, it's looking like they've been starting to do things up, look, because we've got new, fresher tiles, although they have been all then smashed. I've just been, oh, this is a shower room as well. I've just been doing some research and this place is on the same estate as the golf, obviously, like I mentioned earlier. Now the business name I've looked up and they went into liquidation in, I think it was 2008. And the reason they did is they put a hundred million pounds into this place and then went bust because I think it was it might have been 2007. It was when there was the big financial crash and it was about to be massive. And then it just went all tits up because everything went down. Nobody could afford anything anymore. So this place then went to rack and ruin. What a shame. Somebody needs to come in and rescue it. Now we do finally get to go upstairs. I don't know if it's gonna be good, good up here, but they are stone stairs. So you would think it would be quite solid up here, but that's not always the case. Wow. It's been like, I'm sure it's been used like classrooms or something. Well, there's like boards up. What does that say on it? Limerick Lace. Or maybe shops. Because look, there's, there's kids' toys in here. Like boxes for kids' toys. I wonder if it was going to be used as like a load of shops or something around here. Really odd. I found another little set of stairs that I'm going up. I don't know whether we can get in here or not, but if not, at least we'll get a good view over here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this place. What a shame. What a shame. Yeah, we can get in. Oh. Yeah, we can get in. It's very wrecked in here though. Everything looks very damp. I've got to be careful. These floors and these ceilings are not great. Oh, look 
at this view out of this window there. Oh God, this is ropey. Look at the view out of there. How good would that be to look out when, when all the horses were coming in, the carriages? Because I'm guessing they'd drop the load off up at the hall and then they'd make their way down here to bring the carriages down. Oh God, I've got to be really careful in here. This is mega dodgy. There's already holes in the floor, which is worrying. So I've got to be careful of certain bits. Oh God, it's a right drop down there as well. Oh my Lord. Making some very odd noises. some steps down, some things down there. Yeah, there is. Although I think I'm gonna go back down the normal steps because I wanna take a photograph out of that window. Right, so we've just come from up there. That's where we were a second ago. Look at the big gate on there. Now, I think I was right. I do think this is for the coaches at this side because there's the bigger buildings there. I, I reckon there probably would have been maybe traps, horse traps or something like that down there. I don't mean to catch horses, I mean traps to sit on the back of, but I'm guessing these were more like living quarters maybe, I don't know. Maybe work rooms. I don't wanna go, I don't think I can get in these ones because of this. Well, I probably could to be fair, but it just seems that a shame moving that. What's in here? Yeah, oh no, it's just it's just empty rooms. Right, so I'm gonna do what I said. Have a look quick look round. If there's anything good to show you, I will. If not, we'll head off. Yeah, so look, these are the big spacious areas where I'm pretty sure oh these are all new roofs and stuff, but pretty sure this is where they would have kept the coaches, the carts, the traps, anything like that, that horses could pull along, this is where they would keep it. Now, I don't know if you remember a video I did when I was up in Scotland, um, while I was away in Scotland, I showed you a carriage that was pulled by horses and that is the sort of thing they would have kept in there. I don't know what this bit's for though. This bit's making me feel like hunting dogs or something, but it sort of doesn't feel right as well. Look, this bit where it's all barriered off, like they wanted to keep something in there. And they often did keep horses and dogs in the same place, but I can't see anything that resembles kennels, unless they had gates on the front of these, I'm not sure. Although maybe it was just more things for horses, because that's like a trough there, look. So maybe they came and shooed them up here or something. I don't really know. Anyway, let's get out of here. Now, I've just heard a car. I can't hear it now, but when I was in one of those, I hid in one of those, I could hear a car. And there's tire tracks everywhere. And they have not just been here, because they would have been a lot louder, but they didn't sound very far away. Off in probably that direction. So I think we should probably get out of here. My car is, you see the gates up there, behind those gates. So I've, I've walked. I don't know what that noise were then. I'm gonna shut up talking and just get out of here, I think. Right, the second set of new houses that we came into, this is them, the ones we walked through. And if you look, they've tried to, the big archway there, and where we've just come from, they've tried to replicate it. <laughs> and they've done a terrible job. How bad is that? It looks awful. It's not It's not in keeping at all. Even if they've stone clad it, it's just, and then they've like pebble dashed it or rendered it or whatever. I do wonder what that building is though, there, that we looked at earlier on, that's in the middle of this place. Because I'm reckoning this that they've run along here, there would have been some other building here because you can see the track leading to whatever that is. So God knows, God knows what was here before. I would like to know though.
Anyway, I think you have had the most comprehensive explore ever. Like, you've had a bit of everything. You've had me sitting in a JCB thing, digger, getting chased away. You've had a weird ghost town, which is bizarre, which is a golf course place. And then you've had the old hall, which unfortunately we didn't get in. And now the coach house as well. So I don't think you could have had much more of a full explore from me today. So I'm going to go now because I need to get on to the next one. See you later. Love you all. Bye-bye. Just want to say a massive thank you to all our members, our YouTube members, and especially our Patreon members who really, really help. Obviously, YouTube take a big cut of our money. Patreon don't so much. So it is massively appreciated. I've got a secret. I'm going to potentially three countries this weekend. And I can't tell you where. You might already know because when this video is up, I might have already told you. But that's because of you amazing patreon members and our youtube members so thank you so 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 much and hopefully i'll see you soon to tell you where i've gone <laughs>